Hey everyone, today we're starting with a good old favorite, the MACD. You've probably seen those lines on your charts, right? But did you know that the MACD can sometimes play tricks on you? In choppy markets, it's prone to false signals, potentially leaving traders navigating a maze of uncertainty. In today's video, we're unveiling the ultimate solution to tackle the MACD tricky false signals. So, buckle up as we delve into the fundamentals and then graduate to some advanced strategies that will take your trading game to the next level. The MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, is like the superhero of trading indicators. It's composed of two main elements, the MACD line and the signal line. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it's like a green light for potential upward action. And when it goes below, it's a signal to be cautious, suggesting possible downward movement. The MACD line is calculated by subtracting the 26-period exponential moving average from the 12-period EMA. The resulting line represents the difference between these two moving averages and is often referred to as the fast line. The signal line is a 9-period EMA of the MACD line. It is used to smooth the data, providing a clearer indication of the overall trend. The signal line is sometimes referred to as the slow line. Now, once the fast and slow lines are obtained, we can calculate the histogram. The histogram is a bar chart that represents the difference between the fast line and the slow signal line. It visually illustrates the convergence or divergence between the two lines. When the fast line is above the slow signal line, the histogram is above the zero line, indicating bullish momentum. Conversely, when the fast MACD line is below the slow signal line, the histogram is below the zero line, indicating bearish momentum. Now, since we covered the basics, let's figure out how to use MACD lines and histogram. The first traditional way to use MACD is through crossovers. Bullish signals occur when the fast MACD line crosses above the slow signal line, suggesting potential upward momentum. Conversely, bearish signals occur when the fast line crosses below the slow line, indicating potential downward momentum. While the crossover strategy is indeed a valuable and straightforward approach, it does come with its own set of challenges. For instance, when the market exhibits a clear upward or downward trend, some crossovers often align beautifully providing traders with robust entry signals, but some are not so aligned and could lead to false entries. But another way to use MACD is through histogram analysis. Traders often pay attention to the histogram's height and direction. Rising histograms indicate increasing momentum, while falling ones suggest decreasing momentum and may result in a possible trend change. And last but not least is the divergence analysis. MACD divergence occurs when the price of the asset moves in the opposite direction of the MACD indicator. This can signal potential trend reversals. But wait, why trade against the trend? What if we refined our strategy for trending signals? Yes, you heard it correctly. We can fine-tune our strategy by adding an additional layer, like a moving average or the super trend indicator. These powerful tools act as our guides, helping us identify those sweet moments when the price is on a compelling trend. For instance, a popular strategy involves adding EMA 200 to the chart and seeking entries only when the price is above EMA 200, coupled with a MACD crossover. Now let's take our trading strategy to the next level and craft a genuinely powerful killer crossover strategy. The brilliance lies in the strategic use of the Supertrend and RSI indicators, each playing a crucial role in refining our entries and optimizing our overall trading approach. Firstly, we introduce the Supertrend indicator to our arsenal. This powerful tool acts as a reliable guide, helping us navigate through various market conditions. The super trend, calculated based on the average true range, ATR, provides a dynamic trend-following signal. When the price is above the super trend line, it signals a potential uptrend, making it an invaluable addition to our strategy. We want to adjust the setting of ATR length to 5 and factor to 2. By incorporating super trend, we aim to eliminate buy signals during a downtrend, allowing us to focus on opportunities with a higher probability of success. Now, let's discuss the rationale behind the integration of the RSI, Relative Strength Index, into our strategy. RSI is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. Its primary purpose in our strategy is to act as a filter, specifically designed to prevent entering trades at local highs. When RSI surpasses a certain threshold, such as 70, it suggests that an asset may be overbought, indicating a potential reversal or pullback. In our case, 
we set the threshold at 73 to add a margin of safety. So, here's the refined process. When we witness a MEM-ACD crossover indicating a potential shift in momentum, we don't jump in blindly. Instead, we bring in the super trend to confirm the prevailing trend and filter out potential false signals. By ensuring that the price is above the super trend line, we substantially increase the likelihood of trading in the direction of the dominant trend. Now let's talk about the RSI component. As the MACD suggests a potential buy signal and the super trend confirms the trend direction, we introduce the RSI as an additional layer of confirmation and risk management. By setting our RSI threshold at 73, we're being cautious, ensuring that we avoid entering long positions when the market is potentially overextended and start losing momentum. This nuanced approach prevents us from chasing the price at local highs and minimizes the risk of being caught in a reversal. Therefore, the trifecta of conditions, MACD crossover, price above the super trend line, and RSI below 73, serves as our signal for entering a long position. Yet, while refining our strategy is essential, we can't ignore the fact that trading with indicator-based strategies often involves placing them on your chart and patiently waiting for the alignment of entry conditions. More often than not, waiting for these conditions to align across three or five indicators can result in hours spent staring at your charts. But what if there was a way to automate this process? Well, turns out there actually is. Vestinda empowers us with simple drag and drop tools to achieve this. Here, I logged in my Vestinda account and created a new strategy. Now I'm going to enter strategy name. I'm going to use MACD killer strategy name for this one. It doesn't just have a killer name, it outperforms basic MACD crossover strategy at every turn. Now, let's set up our buy conditions. We want to buy when the MACD line crosses above the MACD signal line. To do that, we need to find moving average convergence divergence in the indicators list, then drag and drop the greater than operator and find moving average convergence divergence signal. Now, moving to sell conditions, we want to exit when MACD signal is above MACD line. To do that, we find a moving average convergence divergence signal and drop greater than operator and drop another moving average convergence divergence indicator after it. But before going directly to real trading, how can we find out that the strategy is actually working? We can backtest our strategy on Bitcoin. Here, we can check the chart and see where it makes entries and where it makes exits. Looks like it's got some fine trades. But some spots on the chart look a little bit noisy, so let's try to filter it out. To enhance MACD crossover strategy, we will filter out some bad trades by adding operator AND, then add close price to the conditions, set it to one day, then drop greater than operator and find the super trend indicator. And I am setting up super trend ATR length to five and the factor to two. Then we need to add operator AND, then drop RSI from indicators list with default settings, then drag and drop operator less than and put operator number and set it to 73. Let me explain again how it works. So at first, when the MACD line crosses MACD signal line, we get an entry. But then with adding super trend indicator, it even gets more precise. If the price is above super trend line, it is almost for sure that the price is an uptrend. And if the price is below super trend, it means we are in downtrending market and it will avoid going long there. Ultimately, added RSI also works like a filter making sure to filter out MACD crossovers, which appeared at market top. Now, let's delve deeper into the results of our strategy comparison, and the revelations are truly eye-opening. As we compare our refined approach with the basic MACD crossover on the same Bitcoin chart, the disparities are not just noticeable, they're game-changing. What sets our refined strategy apart is the meticulous integration of additional indicators, the super trend and RSI. These aren't mere adornments, they're strategic components that address the limitations of the basic MACD crossover. The super trend, by confirming the prevailing trend, significantly reduces false signals during choppy market conditions. This means our entries are not just timely, but also aligned with the broader market sentiment. Moreover, the inclusion of RSI acts as a vigilant guardian against potential overbought scenarios. By setting the RSI threshold at 73, we've added an extra layer of caution, ensuring that we avoid entering long positions when the market is potentially reaching unsustainable levels. This nuanced risk management 
helps protect our gains and minimizes the impact of market pullbacks. Now, observe the chart closely. Notice how our refined strategy navigates through market fluctuations with a precision that the basic MXED crossover struggles to achieve. The combination of these indicators not only enhances the accuracy of our entries, but also provides a comprehensive framework for robust risk management. And there you have it. From mastering the MACD basics, we've evolved into crafting a killer strategy with Vistinda Strategy Builder. Remember, trading isn't a static journey. Keep refining your strategies, keep experimenting with different indicators. Happy trading and stay profitable.